Hi Pete, welcome back, I'm Zen and in this video we are going to be looking at how to set up Visual Studio Code just to practice some JavaScript. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first thing we have to do is start up Visual Studio Code. Um, like we said before, there are a couple ways of doing this. The easiest way is to use the shortcut that's been added for you um, on the pen drive itself. This is obviously uh, only works if it is on the E drive. Okay, so your pen drive is set up as the E drive. The other way to do it is through the pen drive system, in which case you'll need a Laragon open. Okay, and with Laragon open, you can then right click down here and we can go to tools and code there as well. Okay, and this is why obviously we set it up with the shortcut on the pen drive system just to make it easier. Obviously, if you're doing this on your machine, you've got it installed in your machine, you know how to start it up. So with Visual Studio Code open, there's really sort of two ways we can go with this, okay? The first one is to do it with the JavaScript inside the HTML page. So the way we would do that is um, inside our learning folder, we'll create a new file as always, and we'll just call this JavaScript-test. And we're gonna call it hyphen one as well, .html. And then we put in the HTML5 uh, system like we've done before. And then what we do is it's here underneath the title that we add the script tag. And if we're using Emmet, it'll do it for us. So this is an internal script file. There are some positives and negatives with this. I would say this is okay um, if you're absolutely certain that the code you're gonna be creating in here you won't be using in production okay you should rarely put production code uh, javascript inside a html page now we can check that this works because we can just do something like console.log hi mum okay and then we can save that so using the uh, live server we can right click on this page and open with live server and then we press F12 on our keyboard to open up the developer's consoles. And we go to console. And there we sit there, hi mum. We're not worried about this. this. For those who keep seeing this and wondering what it is, fave icon is the thing that comes up here in the top left hand corner next to the page name. Okay, or the title of the page. As you can see, we've got the default um, world icon you can actually create your own icons to go in there and this is what it's trying to say it's saying I'm trying to look for one can't find it so I'm using the default don't need to worry about that but there you go you can see it there now like i said this is fine if you are 100 percent sure that you are not going to be using this code for production okay um you know you, you can actually have it in there for production there's nothing technically wrong with it but it does lose a lot of its portability the other way for it is, as we can see over here, we do have a JavaScript uh, folder, JS. And we click into there, and we create a new file. And we're gonna call this tester2. Well, no, just call it tester1.js. Doesn't make any difference. We'll save that. And we'll do a console.log here as well. dad why not now this file on your own you can't just test it okay you can't just go right click and you see that there's no open in um, live server okay you can open it in terminal stuff like that but you can't open it and run it on its own you have to use a HTML page to bunny jump across um, instead of just having this script like we've got here and what I'm gonna do is actually I'm just going to comment this out 
okay because I'm going to put in another script file and notice when I do this there's a script source okay src so we're going to set that option and then we're going to do js forward slash now because I've given the right address so js because that's an empty folder so we're giving it the uh, what's called the relative address of the file so the fact that this file here is in the root document okay the root folder we're saying go into the folder called js and then because Emmett's helping us out it's saying look inside that folder you've got this file is that the one you want and we say yep and it fills it in for us so again we can save that and if we go back to our web page you can see it now says hello dad and that is because if you remember we're using the live server and the live server actually looks out for each time this page is being updated it will open up there we go so the live server document or the, the live server system on Visual Studio Code goes oh you've updated this page and saved it we're going to reload this page for you so you can see the update okay and I strongly recommend that we actually use this system most of the time okay if not all the time because generally speaking when you're trying to work something out you do something go oh hang on this works and I'm going to keep it and use it and then you've got this file which you can then just add to your existing system or to the system project um, and if not and you want some help you can share this file with somebody else without having to worry about it uh, having any other work in it that you may not want people to see so you don't have to spend time sort of having to uh, cut things out of your page to make sure that they don't see something you don't want them to and just to show you that both work together okay I'm going to uncomment this okay now if you notice I did this by hand okay there is a, another way of commenting code as well uh, quickly I think I've talked about this before control so highlight the uh, lines that you want so let's say I wanted to re uh, comment this out uh, control and forward slash will add in the comments for us so it's not there and then you can highlight it again and control forward slash to take it away so now when we save this and I shall tell you what let's uh, screen share it so when I save this file now we should see hello or hi mum and then hello dad okay hi mum hello dad okay and the reason why it's done that is quite simple it's run across this piece of code first so it's run this first then it's gone to this file okay and you know the order matters so if I move this across and up okay and let's just share it again so we can see it we should see the reverse yep hello dad and then hi mum so that is essentially how you get your Visual Studio code ready to make some JavaScript okay code okay, some JavaScript like I say I do recommend that ideally you do it in a separate file okay it just makes life easier um, and yeah that's how you should do it so that's the end of the video uh, you know as usual comment and stuff and ask questions if you need to um, I'm Zen I'll see you in the next video this is Zen signing out